Hello everybody, it's Bob from the Mercer County Library's Hopewell Branch and we are back with another edition of Author Trivia. Uh, today we have some authors who do books for kids, uh, middle grade mostly. Um, they've been kind enough to take some time to give us a question about one of their books. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. A couple of them are back for a second time with a second question and we appreciate them doing that. Uh, once again, you can watch the video, listen to the question. If you need a little time to think about the answer, hit pause and then the author will give you their answer. Good luck to everybody. Hey everybody, my name is Terry Liebenson and I'm the author of the middle grade series Emmy and Friends. And my latest book is this one. It's called Becoming Brianna, which leads me to my trivia question. What is Brianna's least favorite thing ever? So the answer to the trivia question can be found um, right on the cover itself because Brianna's least favorite thing in the world is to be in the spotlight. In the book, Brianna is having a bat mitzvah and she has to read Hebrew and give a speech and she is not happy about the whole thing. <laughs> but luckily everything comes together in a funny and great way. So all is well. <laughs> Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Supriya Gierker and I am the author of American as Baneer Pie. And I have a question for you. In this book, the main character Leika loves to make something. What is it? Ready for the answer? She loves to make puns, especially puns around an aquatic theme, like saying shrimp possible instead of impossible. I hope you're having a great summer full of lots of fun books. Hi, I'm David Adler. This is one of my books, Cam Jansen, The Mystery of the Stolen Diamonds. It's the first Cam Jansen, and I'll ask you a video, video, trivia question about Cam in just a moment. Cam is a girl with a photographic memory. She uses her memory to solve mysteries. Her photographic memory means that it's as if she has photographs in her head of everything she's seen. And when she's about to take a photograph, she says, click. Now. Cam is not her real name. Cam is short for the camera. It's her nickname. The trivia question for you is, what is Cam's given name, her real first name? I'll give you a moment. Cam's name is Jennifer. Jennifer Jansen. Happy reading. Bye-bye. Hey, my name is Margaret Dillaway, and I'm the author of Summer of a Thousand Pies and a bunch of other books. I have a trivia question for you. In this book, what are the names of the two dogs that belong to Aunt Shell? The answer is Jacques and Julia, two famous chefs. I hope that you read this and enjoy living in this little town with the main character, uh, learning some stuff and the recipes in the back. Thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle Robinson, author of Do Not Disturb the Dragons. Um, and I've got a bit of a different question for you. It's a bit of a challenge. So in my story, Do Not Disturb the Dragons, Grace and Portia are two young princesses. But they don't want to be princesses. They want to become knights in armour. And to do that, they need their own pet unicorns. But to get a unicorn, they have to think up and list all their favourite things, say them out loud with their eyes shut and it tempts a unicorn that's made of all their favourite things. So for example, Princess Portia's unicorn, when she makes her list, she says things like libraries, books, freshly laundered pyjamas, troll babies, and a steaming mug of hot chocolate. And when her unicorn appears, it looks all like a cup of hot chocolate. It's brown with a creamy mane and sprinkles in its hair. So she calls it sprinkles. So that's my question for you. What are your favourite things? Can you list them? What would your unicorn end up looking like? And what would you name it? Hello, my name is Deanne Griffith. I am a neuroscientist and a children's book author. And I am the author of the science adventure series, The Magnificent Makers. So this series was recently published by Random House Children's Books, and today I'm coming at you with a trivia question from book two. So, you guys ready? Okay. The trivia question is, what food item does a squid brain most resemble? 
a donut, a hamburger, or a cucumber? Thinking about it? Ready? Okay. The answer is a squid's brain is most close to a donut. Yep, believe it or not, a squid's brain has a big hole in it and its stomach actually goes through its brain. You can learn about that and as well as some other cool facts by picking up your copy of The Magnificent Maker's Brain Trouble. Have fun. Hey everybody, my name is Luke Reynolds and I'm the author of a, a number of books for middle grade readers, picture books, and then even some older people like teachers like myself. And my question for you today is from my book, Surviving Middle School. And in the book, uh, I write about, hey, when you're starting middle school or in the throes of middle school, um, what one of our biggest temptations is to compare ourselves to other people. We wanna look at everyone else and say, man, I'm not as tall as, as smart, as, as athletic, or as fill in the blank as this person is. Um, and in the book, there's a really famous quote from a past president that I put in to say, why comparing ourselves to others is so dangerous. What is that quote? Why, why is it so dangerous for us to compare ourselves to other people? So the quote is, comparison is the thief of joy. And it's so dangerous because when we compare ourselves to other people, it kind of robs the joy that we might feel, right? So think of it like this. Say you worked incredibly hard on an essay or on a math test and you got a B plus. And that 88 or that 89 is feeling pretty amazing. But then your buddy to the left of you or your friend or someone, maybe not your friend, says, I got a perfect score, 100. All of a sudden, the joy you feel about your 88 isn't so great because now you're thinking, but they did so much better, right? Or maybe you scored um, four points in a basketball game, or maybe even two, you got one shot. I remember when I made just one shot on my, my high school basketball team, and I felt so great, like I made my first basket. Um, and then I remember a friend had made 21, had gotten 21 points, and that, those two points don't feel so good. So the danger is when we compare ourselves to others, it has a way of robbing us of the joy we might feel. And that's from Surviving Middle School. Have a great day, everybody. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Knetzger. I'm the author of Bug Boys. And my trivia question for you is, what species of arachnid is the librarian in Bug Village? The answer is, she's a dome spider, a flimsy dome spider. Thank you. Hi! I'm Margaret Peterson Haddix, the author of the Greystone Secret Series and lots of other books. And I'm going to be asking you a trivia question about the first book in the Greystone Secret series, which is called The Strangers. The Strangers is about three kids who find out some strange information, including the fact that three other kids who have the same first names and middle names, the same birth dates, and are the same ages as they are, have just been kidnapped. And then the next thing that happens is the mother says that she suddenly has to go away on a business trip and she tells them that someone they've never met before will be picking them up after school that day. So my trivia question to you is, what is the secret code word that the Greystone kids expect Ms. Morales to say when she picks them up so that they know that she really is the person who's supposed to be picking them up? I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It is a kind of a funny and strange word. Do you know what it is? I can tell you that if you read to page 43, you will find out, but I will make it easy for you and I will tell you the answer if you haven't figured it out yet. The answer to the trivia question is succotash, which I picked because it's a funny word and also because, as the Greystone kids point out, nobody would try to steal kids by luring them with a mixture of lima beans and corn, which is basically what succotash is. So if this trivia question has made you want to eat succotash, that's a fine thing. I won't complain. I hope that it will also make you want to read a book. Thanks. 
with all of our authors for providing those questions. Uh, once again, taking some time from their busy schedules. Uh, just a reminder, we have plenty of other videos on our YouTube channel. You should hit the subscribe button. Uh, check out all kinds of videos for adults, kids, um, more trivia videos. There's all kinds of exciting stuff that uh, our people in the library system are putting together to help you that out through these times where we're not quite yet ready to open to the public. Um, remember that you can still pick up items, including many of these books, online, or you can place a hold and come pick them up with our curbside pickup. We look forward to you reading, and we'll see you hopefully soon.